Hello and welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Wendy J. Haney. And you know what? This video almost didn't happen. It is Friday noon and sorry, <laughs> it's Sunday noon. I'm so confused. It is Sunday noon and I need a tutorial video to go live on Friday morning, which means I need to get it done and have time for Ed Kevin to edit it. I almost threw up my hands and said, oh, life got in the way. It, I'm going to have to throw up a store video. But sat down this morning with my coffee and flipped through some quilting block books and I came up with this one. It is simple. It is straightforward. There is nothing fancy about it, but it's a new block for you to take a look at and see what you can do with it. And that means I got a tutorial done because I so appreciate all of you commenting how much they've appreciated me being back. Life has been crazy. Um, Father-in-law needed to move to assisted living. Stepmother-in-law passed away a week and a half ago. All back in Chicago. Yeah, you know how it is, people. <laughs> Life is busy and crazy. But here I am today. So I'm feeling really good about this. Super simple block. It is called the Green River Block. At least that's what's called in the book that I'm looking at. They did it in greens. <laughs> I guess mine's the Purple River Block. <laughs> There we go. I was, the, simp the nice thing about this is you're dealing with all two and a half inch strips or two and a half inch squares, which means, hmm, you could kind of go scrappy if you don't want anything too structured because if you're like me, my two and a half inch scrap block box is full because that's the size I use for binding. So that's what I did. I went through my scrap bin and found two and a half inch strips that I thought would go together. And of course I like my purple and my teal. The more I thought about it though, originally I was working to find something that you could do with a charm pack because a friend down the streets, aunt passed away and I got mm, a lot of fabric and it included some charm packs. So I thought, okay, let's do something that is charm pack friendly. Well, actually, this could be if you didn't want to go quite so structured, maybe. Because, as I said, it's two and a half inch blocks and strips. So, here is what I was originally looking at. I have this charm pack called High T. Who's it by? Don't know. But it's called High T. It's an unusual charm pack, as far as I'm concerned because it has some really pretty ones and lots of that, but then this one's really pretty too. And I only have four blocks and a lot of really light fabrics in there. So, hmm, wasn't sure. I had laid these all out and I'd finally decided that I was gonna use this purple as some type of background or something. Well, I could go with this purple for my primary, almost, I guess if you'd call it your sashing, and then take your charm packs, cut them in half. And guess what? You have four two and a half inch blocks, which is what we need for those. So just a thought, I will put, um, you can email me at contact me at wendyjhaney.com and ask for the coloring template for Green River Block, and I will email that to you. Um, we're in between platforms, so I don't have a way for you to download that immediately. Another thing that needs to get done. <laughs> it will, it will. 2024 has definitely got to be better than the first quarter was. <laughs> it just has to be. So there we go. So let's get started. As I said, this is going to be super simple, and we'll see what we do with it. As I said, this is super simple. But, hmm, depending on how you twist it around, could be good. I am making a six inch block. Not normally the size of blocks I work with. I usually like things to go together a little faster. So I like an eight or a 12 inch block. But the nice thing about the six inch block is that you're working with two and a half inch squares or strips. So, as I mentioned, a charm pack could come in handy for this. Also, a jelly roll. Hmm, that could really, it'll be a little more scrappy because you wouldn't have the consistency of your middle, potentially. 
Just a thought. That's where that coloring template could come in. Okay, what you need for each block, each finished six inch block, you need a strip that is two and a half by six and a half. To stick with the green river, the river format, you'll need two two and a half inch squares that match your two and a half by six and a half. And then two two and a half inch squares of coordinating fabric and two two and a half inch squares of another coordinating fabric. Three fabrics all dealing with two and a half inch width. There you go. That is all you need. We're going to set aside our middle one and I'm thinking you know what we're going to do here, people. Yep, we're going to sew our strips together. We're going to do that and that and sew those. You're going to come back here and put your other square on here and sew those. Key thing is as you're working with this, especially with, you need to make sure you keep them, keep your colors right. It will be easy to do if you flip them around to um, sew them so that you don't have them in the right color order because the right order does matter. So be careful with that as you get your two and a half inch blocks sewn together. Now we have our strips of our two and a half inch blocks. Well, guess what? As I was sewing these together and pinning them, I went, oh, wait a minute. The strips are identical. We just flip them around when we put them into the block, which means it will be very easy for you to do chain piecing. So if you're doing more than one, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're doing more than one block, and you're, you're working with three colors as I am here, go ahead and chain piece these two squares together. Get them all done. Get them done. Then just remember, oh, my third color has to go next to the teal. And as long as you've got that, then you're good to go. Makes it really easy and that way you shouldn't have any mix-ups of the order. So then you just have a whole bunch of strips and you don't have to worry or think about which goes where and how do I turn it? So we have our block stuff. Then of course, as you figured, we put our two and a half by six and a half inch strip in the middle and we're gonna sew this strip there. Do our quarter inch seam, open it up and then put the other one here and do the same. As far as pressing is concerned, unless you're dealing with light fabrics and darks and are worried about pressing um, into a light, press as you seem fit. Um, also, as you decide how you want them to put, be put together, then, well, then you might wanna consider, okay, maybe the left side we press down and the right side we press up. So get a few done lay them out and then you can kind of figure out how you're going to lay your blocks together to figure out the best method of pressing so your seams will overlap and lock nicely and not have a more bulk there if necessary. And there we go. Your green river, in my case, the purple river quilt block. I am pressing to the inside for my major strip here. That helps eliminate your bulk on your corners here. And yeah, that's what I did. Now, if you put a light color in the middle, maybe you don't wanna do that. And there we go. So look, I just have two blocks. I wish I had more to play with, but uh, I think that's the, <laughs> the last of the teal color that I had in my stash, not stash, in my scrap bin. But as you can see, you can start flipping things around and do different things. Here are two 
examples of what I mocked up in Electric Quilt just to see what you could do with this block as far as twisting and turning it. And I'm sure you can do even more than that. All depend. You could go completely scrappy, have fun with that, a good scrap quilt, maybe provide us a solid or go lights here and a dark here with all scrappy fabrics. Yeah, you choose, but here's one other quilt block for your repertoire that allows you to do something with. You can use a charm pack, use your uh, scraps of two and a half inch and go for it. And it's super simple. So when somebody calls and says, oh, I'm gonna have a baby. Oh yeah, and it's due soon. Or, oh, 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 my friend's having a baby and I need a baby gift right now. Can you make a baby quilt? Uh, uh. <laughs> this could be a really quick one to get together, whip up for them. So take care and thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, the one benefit of running back and forth to Chicago, let's see, one, two, three, four times in four months, this year is I was able to stop at four different quilt shops. So you'll have to keep an eye out for the quilt stores that I uh, got stuff at. And there were a few that I walked in and went, oh my gosh. There were two in Lexington, Lexington or Louisville? Ooh, sorry, can't remember. I think Lexington, Kentucky that were, yeah. Yeah, very nice. So stay tuned and keep an eye out for those. Take care and thank you so much for watching.